Hi, I'm Jeff from Appliance Wizard with another tip to help you save money and keep your major appliance lasting longer. Alright, today's tip is quick but very important. A lot of times when I go in homes I see that people have connected their dryer venting with the incorrect type of dryer venting. A lot of people are using this white nylon venting which used to be legal but is now illegal in Canada and the reason is is over time the lint from your dryer will collect inside the venting especially ribbed venting and eventually that lint may catch fire and oftentimes does and the problem with nylon venting if this catches fire the nylon venting is just going to melt completely and the fire is going to escape so if this venting is along your wooden wall and it catches fire your house is going to catch fire and this has happened many times so the alternative now is to use flexible aluminum venting or solid aluminum venting that way, if the fire starts, the aluminum won't melt and uh, you can keep your house safe from catching fire. Now another good tip when installing your dryer venting is a lot of times I'll see people taking their dryer vent and attach it directly to the opening in the dryer. Take the other end and attach it directly to the indoor venting or the outside venting. The problem with this is as soon as you bend this venting, you're losing a little bit of the diameter of the tube in there and it's just not a good seal. The correct way is to buy a 90 degree elbow from any hardware store, they're very inexpensive. Take the rib end and put it right into your dryer venting, it will fit perfect. Take this end and attach it right to the opening in the back of your dryer or to the top where your dryer termination is and that will give you the perfect connection. Just put a clamp here or duct tape it here and that will give you proper connection. So 90 degree elbows and aluminum ribbed or solid venting and that will keep you safe and have your dryer working properly.